what occurred to, to several of us in the lab was that we needed a way to improve the delivery of the gene. Uh, and to m our mind, that meant using viruses. Viruses exist in nature to do exactly that job. The, the job description of a virus is to take foreign genes into a cell and change them. That's, that's their role in life. And so uh, the decision was easy. We, uh, I decided I would go and spend some time in the virus laboratory to try to learn how to manipulate a virus and, and wrap a piece of incoming DNA uh, in a virus coat uh, and see if that could improve the efficiency of the gene transfer. Uh, at least it allowed us to think about the, the possibility and to write this, this theoretical paper in 72, which said that uh, once we learn how to engineer viruses, then it would be very useful to, to stick in normal genes and ask the virus to act like a, a carrier, like a, a moving van, like a Trojan horse, just to deliver something surreptitiously to the cell. So that was in 72. We published that paper, and uh, it uh, it was, I think, uh, an important paper because it opened, I'd like to think, it opened the field uh, uh, for, uh, for uh, gene transferring at a very efficient level once the tools became available, which they did the following year, to engineer viruses and stick, stick them together very efficiently.